This week, I've come to the With Dean Sports Complex. Do not ask me why. It's freezing cold and there's snow everywhere. But just to recap, I'm going to be doing a triathlon sprint event in June. But unfortunately, I have to learn how to ride a bike first. But luckily, one of the parents at Carlton Hill has volunteered to teach me. And as I'm the year six teaching assistant, we've got some of the kids involved as well. One of my main concerns at the moment, obviously, the fact that I'm 26 and I've never learned to ride a bike, I, I feel like it's never going to happen. How can you sort of alleviate my worries? You'll be fine. Two things to, to remember. You can balance. You're standing up now, so we, we can see you can balance. And you, ne you need to learn to pedal, which is what I'm going to be teaching you today. Well, we'll see how that goes. How do you feel about that, Ziggy? I'm still learning to ride a bike. I know how to ride a bike, but I'm not really that stable. How did you feel when you heard that I couldn't ride a bike? I felt shocked and I thought it was a joke, but then I found out it wasn't and I just felt shocked really. What do you think my chances are like of learning to ride a bike? I think it'll be good because if you if you're kind of stable now and you've learned to and you've ridden a bike before, have you ridden a bike before? Once it didn't end well. Huh? It didn't end well. Ah, oh, but at least you tried and then maybe this this time you'll succeed. Thank you, Edward. I like that. So, Ben, can you explain to us what exactly is happening at the moment? What have you done to your bike? I've made it into a smoothie bike. Your pedal power, so you're going to be focusing on your pedaling. I'm going to be looking at your pedaling. But we don't want to put that to waste. You're going to be making smoothies with your energy. I think I can handle that. How do you feel about that, Zig? Um, it, good, because we're only doing the pedaling. I've never done anything like this before, though, where we've got a smoothie maker on the back of a bike. Have you ever done anything like this? No, but I still think the smoothie will taste nice. Cheers! It's good, isn't it? Lovely. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually pink beard. We've got just one more thing to do today, and uh, that involves the expert standing next to me. Just finish your drink. Just finish your drink. Can you tell me a little bit about how you came to learn how to ride a unicycle? Well. It's a lot of practice on the normal bike and then you have to keep on practicing on the unicycle. You have to practice next to the wall quite a lot and then you'll get it at the end. Jay, what are you exactly doing? Well, Edward, I seem to have managed to learn how to ride a unicycle in the space of five minutes. Otto, you said this was going to be difficult. What are you doing? What? Yeah, oh, you can't do that to me. I was supposed to be looking like I was riding a unicycle. It was going to look really good. You ruined it now, Ronan. Ruined it. Before I go, I just wanted to remind you to donate to my Just Giving page. I'm raising money for the Rocking Horse Children's Charity, and they really will appreciate anything you can give. So if you want to help out, go to www.justgiving.com forward slash j legate. And I'll see you next week.